an orange lip and a sparkly face. I hope you guys never have to actually hear me sing that song. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mosala Torre. Join the family and hit that subscribe button and join us for the 12 days of Christmas. Woo! Round of applause. I killed this very last minute. My editor who edits my makeup tutorials probably hates me right now. Mary, I love you. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I wanted to, as the year comes to an end, really highlight a lot of my friends' products that they have either collaborated with other brands on or come out with their own brands. It's a huge accomplishment. And as I was going through my drawer, I was like, damn, I have a lot of stuff from my friends. Like, a lot, a lot. A whole drawer dedicated to my friends and their products. So I was like, why not make a whole series out of it? So I'm going to be doing 12 Days of Christmas, 12 different makeup looks, maybe some favorites thrown into there to really help you guys get together or get yourselves together for the holiday season, whether you're dreading it or you love it, love going to all the events, RSVPing yes to everything. I have a makeup look, hopefully, for you guys because... Even though I'm kicking it off with a super simple glossy skin and a bold lip, I'm going to be doing colorful looks, sparkly looks, bold lips, nude lips, glossy lips, you name it, I'm doing it, all while featuring a lot of my friends' products. And uh, yeah, we're kicking it off today with this look. The lip is the Tinted Hue Stick by my good friend Deepika. Um, this is the main focus. I wanted to do the look that I tend to go for whenever I'm in a rush, which is usually this. This is why you guys always see me doing this look at branded events on my Instagram stories. That is the truth. I get ready super last minute and always end up going with a bold lip, blush, glossy skin, calling it a day. It always comes through for me. So I hope it does the same for you guys. I've had a lot of caffeine. Let's get into this tutorial. <laughs> to kick things off, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite foundation, the Kogundo Aqua Foundation. It's also the only one currently working for me while my skin is extremely dry. It still looks good later in the day, whereas some other ones that I love, I tend to look really dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with my fingers. I'm using uh, the shade 143. Fingers first, always the best application if you have dry flaky skin. And then I'm going to further blend it out with my Ofra sponge. The first person I want to highlight in today's video is Anna Petrosian. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Probably butchering it. Sorry, Anna. <laughs> Petrosian? Petrosian? Petros... I don't know. If you guys didn't know, Anna is the owner of Dose of Colors. Um, she does everything so, so well, especially having been a makeup artist, an influencer herself. I just feel like her... Um, her liquid lipsticks, her eyeshadows, her foundation, her concealer... Oh, I could have used her foundation. Next video. I'm gonna be using her concealer. It's the Meet Your Hue Concealer in shade number 14. Because as you can tell, the foundation is a little darker. But lately I've been liking a foundation that's like a shade, like half a shade darker. Because I feel like it brightens my skin tone versus trying to warm it up later on with a lighter foundation. And then I bounce out the color of a darker foundation with a lighter concealer. So I'm using shade 14 light medium. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of cream contouring, but I am going to be going in with the Lip Tinted Hue Stick, which is a cream multi-use color created by my good friend Deepika. And it's not just any product. It's not just a brand. It's a community, which if you guys haven't checked it out yet, it's super cool. It really celebrates the diversity within all of our different communities. So, for example, someone like me, who is 100% Mexican, I've always struggled with the fact that I don't look... 100% Mexican and I get that comment all the time. You're so pale. You have colored eyes. How are you Mexican? We don't all look the same. We all come in different shapes and sizes and colors, skin tones, eye colors. And Deepika and her community um, Live Tinted really celebrates that. I'm going to be using this in a bit, but I am going to uh, add a little color, like contour a little bit because I want to do that now before I go in with the cream blush. So I'm going to use this Milk Makeup uh, cream bronzer in the shade Bake. I'm going to use my favorite IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. I'm going to take the fluffy side to pick up this bronzer and in a patting motion tuck it into the hollows of the cheeks before I go in with the Hue Stick. You could add it over powder once you've set with powder but in order to prevent it from shifting your foundation underneath you can apply it before powder to make sure it just really blends into the skin. Now I can go in 
with the Hue Stick in the shade Found. I don't know if I said the shade name. This is a limited edition color. I think it's sold out right now, but it was really popular, so I'm hoping she brings it back. It's like the perfect rusty, deep orange red. Every time I wear it on stories, everyone's like freaking out. They need to know what it is. This is the infamous lip color. If I'm using a lipstick as blush color, I'll create a blob on my arm like this. So that way when I pick it up on my tool, a sponge or a brush, I get like an even application versus trying to put this on my face, even though you can do it that way, quick and easy, blend it out with your fingertips. I'm just a little weird, and, you know. <laughs> I like my tools. So I'm gonna pick it up on this brush and pat it onto the cheeks, bringing it up pretty high. You guys know I like to do that. You can see how pigmented that is, but don't freak out because we're gonna blend it out with the sponge. So you can do one side, grab your sponge, and then blend it out. So good, especially with this top. Woo, yes. And the focus of this look really is just like a lot of blush and an intense, bold lip. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't clean up the contour just yet. I wanted to add the blush just in case when blending it, I went down too low. So once I've gotten the blush on here, I will clean up underneath to further accentuate the contour. So now to uh, further cut the cheek, emphasize that contour, you can either use your foundation or your concealer, depending on what you're comfortable using. I typically will just go in with my foundation just to keep the texture the same. Sometimes the feeling of concealer under here can feel like a lot. So I'm picking up my Coke and Dough foundation on a paddle brush and I'm gonna sweep under here to emphasize that contour, bringing it to the edge of the lip. And now I can just set everything with my trusted Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, the Hue Stick is a matte formula, so it shouldn't feel too sticky and it'll last as is, but if you wanna tone down the shine, make it last longer, set it with powder, make sure it's translucent so it doesn't change the color. So I didn't add too much powder right here because I like the natural glow I'm getting and I think it'll really emphasize my highlight when I go in and add it. So before I make the skin moist, I like to apply my brow pencil over matte powdered skin. It just prevents it from slipping and sliding everywhere. I'm gonna be using one of my new favorite brow products. Did it replace my Dior Brow Styler? No, but I've been using it just as much. It's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and shout out to Roxette. She is the one that actually introduced me to this when we did our collaboration video together. And then her and Yes actually did the campaign for the launch of um, Elf's Brow Collection later this year. I've been obsessed. The color I use is Neutral Brown. So shout out Roxette. I would have never known about this product if it weren't for you and it's definitely, definitely much more affordable than the Dior Brow Styler even though Still my girl, love you. To highlight, I have so many highlights for my friends. Like so, so many. <laughs> um, but today I wanted to go again for more of like a skin focus, wet skin look, glass skin, lots of blush. So I'm gonna be using Patrick Ta's look at her, what is this called? Highlighting mist. So you could just spray it on your face, but you're not very precise when you do that. So I like to just spray it onto my uh, sponge and then dab it onto the areas where I want to highlight. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray the highlighter directly onto the sponge. And then press it on, ooh, hoo, hoo, onto the high points of the face. Start with the end that's sort of drenched in the highlight and then use another clean side of the sponge to further blend it out. Very glossy, but I do want it to be a little more gold, so I'm going to blend in this Melt Cosmetics Gold Ore Highlighter. See if that changes up the undertone a bit. I'm a little nervous. It might look a little wonky, but we'll see. Melt also being owned by Laura and Dana, two amazing ladies. I absolutely love them, and... They are like, I would call them like the pigment queens. Everything that they come out with is extremely pigmented. And I mean, if you want pigment, you go to Melt. Like, there's no doubt about that. And this highlighter, I had kind of forgotten about it, to be honest. I was just looking the other day for like a really, really gold highlight. And I pulled this one out. I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot about it. And it's so good. I mean, like, look at it. My skin is glossy. I'm just going to... 
blend it all out so it doesn't look so um, like patchy to certain areas because I'm just really packing it on. That's my strategy right now. And I'm also gonna do this, which I've been loving doing lately, is taking my highlighter, putting it on the inner corner, and then blending it up into the rest of the eye right here. I missed myself with Fix Plus to make this look even glossier. This fan, by the way, is also by Patrick Ta, a tool I thought I would never think was a necessity in my makeup kit. And ever since I received the fan in his PR kit, I'm like obsessed. Like I use it after spraying myself or I guess just spraying myself because sometimes I get carried away. I love mist, but they can also ruin your makeup if you use too much and it starts to drip. So this is a great way to lock it all in real quick. Believe it or not, this look is rapidly coming to an end. It's so simple, I'm telling you. This is why it's my go-to holiday look. I'm always in a rush, I'm working on it, cause I was like, hey, look, we're always leaving or like running out the door because you're running late. I can't use the excuse LA traffic all the time, but hey, normally it is LA traffic, but um, I do need to start getting ready earlier for things cause I'm always rushing out the door. And that's why you typically always see me wearing this look to events. It's always like glossy skin bold lip, usually a red lip. Makes it look like I did my makeup, but really, I didn't really take the time to do it. <laughs> brow gel, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. brow gel to fluff them up. I want them to look really nice and bushy. So when I do this, I'm not pressing too hard on the brow, I'm just lightly feathering on the product, especially on the ends to make sure that I get that bushy look. If you like your brows more defined, feel free. So I'm just gonna go in with this Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Mascara but I'm gonna use Voluminous Waterproof in Brown Black on my lower lash. And I'm actually gonna comb my lashes today. I never do that, but just to amp them up a little bit. Almost forgot about my powder bronzer on the sides of the nose. I feel like I don't really need it that badly, but I'm just so used to doing it because it adds that natural shadow that I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, or Milk Chocolate, because I'm that pale right now. <laughs> milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer just on the sides of the nose, also underneath the lip. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this along the jawline just to define it, since I didn't contour that with the cream. And for the grand finale, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Tinted Hue Stick in found onto my lips. No liner required, it already comes in a nice point, so it's going straight on my lips. And just <laughs> like that, we have our first 12 Days of Christmas look and my absolute favorite because it's the easiest, it's efficient, last minute parties pop up. This is so quick and easy and I had a little help with my friends, Deepika, uh, Mel, to Laura, Dana, um, so many amazing people. I will link them down below, their Instagrams, their YouTubes, their products and everything else I use in today's video. I hope you guys are looking forward to the 12 Days of Christmas. I promise I will learn how to sing the song in the next video. Maybe not sing the song because you don't want to hear my singing voice. I will spare you the torture. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. <clears throat> On the first day of Christmas, <laughs> your true love me gave to you an orange lip and glossy skin. Okay, I'm done, I'm over and out.